Hi everyone and welcome to the Ulti Show. Exclusive reports here from the World Games in Poland. I've got a special guest with me. It's Jamie Neuer, who is the WIFDIF medical officer. So Jamie, thanks for chatting with us. Of course. First of all, for people that don't know much about how these kind of events work, what is a medical officer and what exactly do you help doing at these kind of events? Uh, I mean, that's a good question. A lot of people have asked me, actually, <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, well, the good news is uh, I, I haven't had to do that much so far. Uh, so there haven't been uh, too many major injuries, which is great. A uh, big part of what I do is anti-doping. Uh, and that comes up because as part of the Olympic movement, uh, it's really important for us to uh, to make sure that we have everything you know well controlled and appropriate uh, to get into them. Uh, and uh, you know, generally the program uh, works with athletes that are competing at the World Games uh, and has a lot of athletes that uh, are enrolled in the you know uh, testing pool and okay. they sort of track their whereabouts over time mm. and then we can test them at the event uh, in and out of competition. Okay. So, so there's a combination of um, arranged testing and random testing, is that right? right? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And it's across, I presume, all the teams, all the teams are you know affected equally by that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And then the World Guns does their own testing and oh, wow. so there's yes, a lot of anti doping stuff which, you know, just important to get us back into the Olympics. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. And of course, you know, it's a, it's a big sort of high platform here being at the World Games, a lot of people watching, a lot of attention on, you know, disc sports and flying disc and ultimate frisbee. Um, there's also been, you know, a lot of sports around the world that have had a lot of controversies right. with testing, right? Well, not just yeah. with testing, but, you know, people actually having positive yeah. tests and right. having some yeah. real drug controversies. Yeah. I mean, how do we, as a sport and organization, avoid that? How do we make sure yeah. that um, we stay clean? Because so far we've got a clean slate. Exactly, yeah. And that's something that we're really, you know, working really hard towards. So a huge part of that is education, which all the players that participate are required to do an educational protocol yeah. um, online and uh, any world event that's true for. Uh, and then, you know, we also participate with all the other sports in training ourselves. So I attended an event in uh, Switzerland with World Anti-Doping where they talked a lot about the Russian controversy and the track athletes and all that recently. Right. Okay. Um, but fortunately, you know, we've been clean with Frisbee, which is awesome. Um, and hopefully we can keep it that way. Yeah, fantastic. So, I mean, this sounds all like quite a lot of work that you're putting in here. There's not just a lot of work at these games, but, you know, in previous events that you've also been to. And I'm sure you did a lot of work back home as well. And I mean, you have a very busy schedule already. You're a, you know, a full time doctor with your own practice. How do you how do you get to this point? At what yeah. How do you become the medical officer of WIFTF and yeah. put it all in? No, absolutely. I, well, I actually got involved on the national level first, okay. so with USA Ultimate, uh, helping them with their safety policies, medical policies, just generally. Uh, and then when uh, WIFTF sort of went to the next level to try to get into the Olympics, they needed a medical director. So uh, I was recommended to them, and, and so that's how I got, ended up getting involved. Fantastic. Um, well, we definitely appreciate all the work you put in, so thank you thank for that. You. <laughs> and I Absolutely. know that you're also acting as somewhat of a medical liaison, is that right, at these games as well? Yeah. Um, so what is that like, just basically checking out who the local mm -hmm. paramedics are and that exactly. kind of thing? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, so it's a little bit of a different situation than the world than the games that are hosted by WIFTIF. In okay. that situation, you know, we're in control of everything with all of the safety and medical things. Got you. Yeah. Uh, but in this case, uh, because it's the World Games that's in charge of those things, they wanted a person to sort of be the liaison between mm. World Games and all of the medical personnel that's coming with all the teams here okay yeah. that makes sense mm -hmm. absolutely yeah so just one last question mm -hmm. I understand you've been to Poland before I have for a flying disc event indeed <laughs> yes juniors right yep WJUC last year fantastic uh -huh. yep. um, that means that Jamie might speak a little bit of a local language um, and you know, one thing that I've heard people struggling with including me I must say is how to pronounce <laughs> The local this city, the yes. whole city. So, can you give us a little sample of yeah. your very fluent? I will tell speaking. you that it has taken me a while, but I had someone <laughs> sit down with me and explain each of the letters oh, individually. Good. Okay. And so now I understand that it is pronounced Rovdlaf. Say that again. Rotswaf. Rotswaf. Waf. Rotswaf. Rotswaf. There it is, guys. Yes. Now you'll know. Rotswaf. Yes. Is the way to pronounce it. Exactly. Jamie, thank you so much. Absolutely. That's it from us. See you guys again soon. Thanks.